In this lecture, we are back to our GDX sampler project and it is time to write a new sample. We are going to meet a new class, which is called Asset Manager. So what is Asset Manager and what are advantages of Asset Manager? One of the main advantages of using Asset Manager is that resources will be reference counted. So what does that mean? That means that they will be allocated in memory just once. It doesn't matter how many times we use it in our code. If you can imagine our obstacle avoid game having three or four backgrounds that change often or that are moving up or down. For that, we would use multiple references for our background, which is bad. So, Asset Manager enables us to allocate memory just once for our texture. In terms of organization and clarity, it is good point to gather all resources in the same place. So it is highly recommended practice to always use Asset Manager. Even in our game, where we have only three or four textures, later we will have more textures. So let's see how Asset Manager works. First, as always, we need to create a new sample and we are going to call it Asset Manager Sample. So Asset Manager Sample. It needs to extend sample base. We need our logger and we need our sample info. So public static final sample info sample info is new sample info with asset manager sample class now we need to go to our sample infos to add it to our list so at end of our list we will just add our sample asset manager sample dot sample info and now back to our asset manager sample in this sample we are going to need again camera viewport and batch so let's create private private orthographic camera camera private viewport viewport private sprite batch batch and as always we need our create method we need dispose method and resize method so let's create those methods so create then resize and dispose in dispose we need to dispose our batch so batch dot dispose in resize we need to tell our viewport about resize so viewport update with it height and we want to center our camera so we'll put true to center our camera if we don't put true or we put false our camera won't be centered and before we continue we will need three textures and font and also asset manager so let's create private asset manager asset manager three textures so private texture background blue private texture green circle private texture red circle and as we know, we need to go to dispose and dispose our textures. But this time we won't dispose these textures. We will dispose them in different way. And we need font. So private bitmap font, font. The same goes with font. We need to dispose it. But in this sample, we are going to dispose all this with one line. Inside create, we will enable our logging so gdx app set log level to application log debug and let's go one by one so we need to create our asset manager which is new asset manager we can also set logging on asset manager so asset manager get logger set level and we set it to logger debug so asset manager will print some info which is useful to see now 
to load something with our asset manager we need to tell our asset manager to load it but before that let's create our camera viewport and batch so camera is new orthographic camera our viewport is new viewport so viewport is new fit not fill fit viewport with 1080 by 720 and our camera batch is just new sprite batch as always and now comes the interesting part so we need to tell our asset manager to load our texture or our font so we will add a little comment load assets and asset manager has method load in which we need to provide file name so now let's load our background blue which is in assets directory raw and background blue.png so we just need to put a raw dash background dash blue dot png and we need to put our class so this is texture now we need to call our asset manager finish loading and this method when we call finish loading that will block our execution of our program or application until all assets are loaded into memory so be careful let's write a little comment blocks until all resources are loaded into memory now if we want to get our assets from asset manager get assets we just going to first background blue is asset manager dot get and now again we need to type the same row slash background blue dash blue png but it is better practice to have this inside constant so let's create constants for all our resources so private static final string background blue will be row row slash background blue dot png for green circle we have private static final string green circle and that will be row slash circle dash green dot png then we have red circle so private static final string red circle is row slash it is circle circle dash red dot png and our font private static final string font is inside fonts directory and it is named oswald dash 32 dot fnt so you're probably wondering why do we need this constant well because we are using this in two places in this sample in our game we will use it maybe in five or ten places and changing name of our texture will have drawback that we need to change name of our pet in ten places while changing while now when we have a constant if we change name of our texture we just need to change it in one place and everywhere we are using constant so this is a good practice to use constants for something that is used very often so here we will just put our background blue and when we get our background from asset manager we are also going to type our constant background blue and that's it now let's load other assets so asset manager load green circle which is also texture class then we have asset manager load red circle which is also texture texture class and we have asset manager load font which is bitmap font class 
Now we just get our assets from Asset Manager after Asset Manager has finished loading. So background blue, then we have our green circle. Green circle is Asset Manager, get green circle. Red circle is Asset Manager, get red circle. And font is Asset Manager, get font. And that is the way how to get our assets from Asset Manager. And now about this posing. We don't need to write background blue dispose, font dot dispose and so on. We can just dispose the whole asset manager, which will dispose all resources. So we imagine if we have 50 textures or 50 different resources, we would need to have write 50 lines containing something dot dispose. And this way we dispose everything at once. Now we need our render method. So let's render everything. Render. First, as always, we need to clear our screen where we have GDX utils clear screen. And now we can use our live template, GDX draw. And we can draw what we need. So we are going to draw batch draw first background blue at zero, zero. Then we will draw our green circle at let's say 50 50 and now let's draw a red circle at 200 200 and let's write something with our font asset manager sample at 550 now we can run our GDX sampler and see how this works. If we double click on Asset Manager sample, let's see what do we have in console. As you can see, Asset Manager is printing logs and we can see that queued, what is queued for loading, we have three textures and one bitmap font. Then it prints waiting for loading to complete, it prints what is loaded and how long it took to load. For example, for our background blue, Asset Manager needed 46 milliseconds to load. And if we go down, when we see loading fonts, Oswald 32 FNT, we will see that there is dependency. And what is dependency? Well, Dependency is when we have some resource that depends on other resource. In case of our font, if we open Oswald 32 FNT, we are going to see that there is file Oswald 32 PNG. So both files are automatically loaded. And now if we close our application, we will see that Asset Manager is printing this posing and then disposes everything for us. So we don't need to take care, so much care about disposing textures and so on. Asset Manager will do everything for us. With Asset Manager, we can load all kinds of assets and resources. For example, textures, fonts, sounds, and so on. So once more, I will explain what is the main advantage of Asset Manager. One of the main advantages of using Asset Manager is that resources will be reference counted. So we will have only one reference of our font in the whole application. And we can just reuse that reference for drawing some text. The same goes for our textures, sounds and other resources. So it is better to have one reference of texture in our game and then just redraw it as many times as we need. There is no need to allocate memory for the same texture. So what does it mean when we say a reference counted? That means that our resources, textures and so on will be allocated in memory just once. 
it doesn't matter how many times we use it in our code. In the next lecture, we are going to use Asset Manager in our obstacle avoid game.